Uh, all right, it's John. Uh, November 13th, Sunday morning. I had a viewer ask for a diagram on my system or a blueprint. And I'm not good at drawing, so I'm going to try to do a video overview and break it down. Because you see, and I'm on this side without the pipes to try to show, and I'll do the pipes last, um, but basically to try to show what you need. Uh, and there's different ways of doing it. I chose to raise my fish tank up. I'm eventually, I'm thinking of putting the fish tanks down in the ground. But for, for you know, if, if this size system will do you, um, you know, I raised the fish tank up. It has an overflow. And basically, it has a, a pipe feeding it with water. And it's only going to overflow out what you put in it. Okay? It's real easy to control. Uh, it's basically that's it. it. So you have your tank. I have my gravel bed. And, and you know, you've got to at least have one uh, to do the conversion on your ammonia. So I've, this is it. So if you can consider this as a, a, another stage of the system. Um, I ha and you can feed it several different ways. You can feed it from the pump, which I will be feeding in the future from the pump. But right now, it's feeding from the tank overflow. And it, it dumps into there. And then the bell siphon, which you can see the bottom of it coming down there, drops into the sump. Um, so basically, the gravel bed... It just it you put water in it, and and mine actually cycles every six minutes, so it fills up, it dumps into the sump. So you can dump water into it from a pump, or you can do it from a, an overflow. Either way you do it, it's a it's a system in itself. So you've got your tank system, you've got your gravel bed, and the bell siphon, and you have to have a sump under it. Uh, and so I just put some 4 by 4s across there to support it and that's how the the gravel bed works. The next two beds are basically just a floating raft and um, basically I drill a hole about right here and and then anything anytime the water level comes up to that level it's going to spill out. Now you can see the bell siphon just went off in this drain. That's from the gravel bed. That there is from the overflow from the floating rafts. Okay? Also, there is my pump. That is the heart of the system. It feeds everything. Okay, the pump, the pump comes up and it splits. I have part of it going with valves to control the flow to each each thing it goes to. Pump comes up, goes to there, and then it tees and goes to the floating raft and this floating raft. And you can see the pipe right there with the valve. And I've got them throttled way back. Let me get up here. I've got them throttled back and to a point that they make a lot of uh, aeration. You can hear them gurgling. You can see the bubbles coming out. I first had them flowing a lot harder, but in messing with it and throttling, and when I seen the uh, aeration that it made by throttling it back. I chose that. It's worked well for me. Um, this pipe here is my drain for my overflows from the floating rafts. It, you can see it flowing there. Drops down, comes here. 
it's a real simple. It's just one pipe with two T's in it to to take your overflow. The floating rafts are really easy bed. Uh, I mean, basically, only going to come out what you put in it. Okay. Uh, same with the with the gravel bed. Now it's on a bell siphon, and this it's draining right now. You can kind of hear it gurgling. Uh, it's only going to drain what you put in it. And that's the safe way to do this. Same with the... Um, fish tank. It's only going to drop what you put in it. So, if my, my pump goes out, no big deal. It, my, water's gonna, my water lev level will maintain in here and the floating rafts. So, uh, I hope this helps you. Uh, if you have any direct questions, email me. Uh, I'll, I'll be glad to help anyone. Uh, I'll try to do a drawing, a diagram on it. I'm not real good at drawing it, but uh, anyway, I hope this helps you. Thank you.